Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back. Uh, we have a big show for you today. Uh, Deontay Wilder wins his arbitration case. Um, I don't know if that's good, better, and different from y'all, but Wilder has won his arbitration case, um, and Fury has until September to fight him. It's unclear whether or not he has to fight Wilder first, or if he can fight AJ. Um, first, and then you know, should he beat AJ, which he assuredly will, can he get injured and have to push the wild the fight back till next year? I don't know. Um, I don't know. Um, but. I've been saying since day, let me fix this, since day one, that Wilder likely will win this arbitration case, right? I mean, y'all didn't want to hear that. I've said it on Mixed Combat Radio. I've said it here. I've said Wilder will likely win his arbitration, at least in my opinion. I thought it was fairly obvious. You know, they fought in February of 2020, okay? In February 2020, um, Fury won and he had to rematch or trilogy with Wilder. In March of 2020, the next month, there's a worldwide pandemic that shut down travel. Okay. So neither guy could travel to the other country. So the fight couldn't be made. And then the contract expired. I don't know how you put that on Wilder. How does Wilder, Wilder loses his shot because of a of of, of, a, of his mandated his contractually mandated re- trilogy because of a worldwide pandemic when the other guy can travel that doesn't seem reasonable so I, I figured this was coming I really did and I want to see AJ and Fury I'd rather see it at this point I would rather see it obviously I'd rather see this fight. But you have to honor your contracts. Now, I want to get into that, right? What if he doesn't honor his contract? They could take some money from him. So Fury's got a decision. I'm going to get $75 million to fight AJ. I'm going to get half that, let's say, to fight Wilder. If I don't fight Wilder, how much are you going to sue me for? I got a decision to make, right? You take 10 from me, I get 65 to fight AJ or 37, 35 to fight Wilder. Sue me. I'll tell I'll, I'll battle out in court. We'll see how it goes. Right? Uh, I don't know. You know, does one of the sanctioning bodies step in the way and say, no, we're not going to sanction this fight? Does that get in the way? Because it wouldn't be for undisputed then. I don't know. I don't know. Um, these, these, I still think this fight, AJ and Fury happens in August, but we're far from that being official. This throws a monkey wrench in it. This, this is a hiccup. It's a roadblock. I don't know how. It, I don't know how it turns out. Um, I'm going to say I think the right decision was made. I think logically. Wilder is, is is warranted this title shot. I think contractually, he, he, it's obligated. He's, I, I, it might not be what I want. It might not be what you want, but it's what's in the contract. And, and without contracts, n- there's nothing to hold anyone to anything. Right? Like, there are three rules for 
a civilized society. Don't hurt people. Don't take their things on your contracts. Drury's got to honor this contract. Now he can probably not honor it. And there's enough money involved in the AJ fight where, um, you know, he could say, okay, sue me anyway. I'll battle out in court and fight AJ in August. August is only three months away. Sue me. Let's battle it out. I I, I said I'll fight Fury. Fury could say I'll fight Wilder in September. Get hurt. I don't know. Get injured. How to pull out of the fight. Would that shock you? Nothing that Fury does would shock me. What I'm saying is, I don't know. We're off a, a long way off of having this fight, the trilogy, be official. We're a long way off from having the AJ Fury fight be official. Um, this is going to get decided in the courts. And you guys say the courts. Why the courts? It's private arbitration. It's legally binding. Um, if he doesn't honor this contract, it's breach of contract. While the citizen for breach of contract goes to court. Now it's the judge's hand. And, you know, obviously it's a breach of contract because they agreed to the arbitration. So now the judge is going to say that Fury has to pay up. I don't know what they're going to fu- sue him for, but Fury's going to be held liable for that. He's going to be held accountable for that. He's going to have to pay that. Is that enough to, to stop him from fighting Wilder? I don't know. Or will Wilder be willing to take step aside money? That's, if I offered you $10 million not to fight Fury, and I guarantee to fight the winner after this, would you take it? I would take it. I don't know. That's up to Wilder. You know, that's a choice. You can always take step aside money. What they're afraid of. You know, what? why Fury might do this is consider this. He fights Wilder, beats Wilder. Usyk fights AJ, picks off AJ in the meantime, and now his mega fight, his $75 million fight, is gone. Right? I mean, he'll get a big fight. He'll get a big payday to fight Usyk, but not like AJ. Right? Like, you may get a big payday to fight Triple G, but it ain't the payday you're going to get to fight Canelo. And that's kind of the situation that he's in. You know, if I'm Fury, I don't know what my options are. You know, morally, he should honor his contract. He, that was part of the deal. If he, if he lost, he'd want the rematch. Um, but monetarily, fiscally, I'm not telling him what to do. I mean, that's, that's between him and his advisors. There's no easy answer. There's no easy solution there. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Do you think this fight is going to happen? Do you think this this this, this arbitrator's decision uh, puts a major hiccup in the side of the road? You know, is this, does this kind of stop things? Or is it just, you know, AJ will, I mean, Fury will battle that out in court. The AJ fight will go on. I don't know. But nothing's official right now. Neither of the fight is official. So let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please subscribe to uh, 3D Boxing at all forms of social media. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please hit the thumbs up, uh, hit the bell, hit all that good stuff. Uh, and also our brand new channel, Texas Boxing Scene, completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. Please like and subscribe. Um, all proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery. So guys, please, please, um, if you don't want notifications, please help us get uh, that monetized so we can start uh, donating to uh, Autism Research and Recovery. All proceeds will go to TACA, which is the Autism Community in Action. Um, it is May 17th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in. Clutch 2021. Um, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.